Hi guys, it's 10 after 8 almost um, on the 25th and my daughter's not home yet. I just finally got a hold of her in a text and she said hopefully she'll be leaving in a little while and then I just checked the weather, the, I'm going to put myself on but I haven't showered yet. I just put on the um, the news and the bridge that she has to take has a 93 minute delay on the side she's coming. This is the lady that chats back and forwards to me on Twitter. Pete knows her, she's from Pete's town. Anyway guys, um, I'm going to go now, drink my coffee, take a shower. I've got a couple of errands to do and then some office work to do, like I said. And hopefully Madam will be home soon. But I'm not expecting to see her till 9 or 9.30 at this point. I will talk to you in a bit. Ashley just pulled in the driveway and it is 10 past 9. I don't have my uh, stuff on yet and I just poked my eye out with the mascara so my eyes are a bit red so I'm just waiting to put my concealer on. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Just catching up on Steve's vlogs. Somebody will not leave my side again this morning. Ah, she's in bed. Just watching John's vlog now. What are you doing, madam? I got to straighten the top of my hair because I let it dry too much before I got the hair dryer on it, and it's kind of bouncing in the top. Hello, yes I'm on this side as well, and on the dressing table. Hi guys, I'm realizing that when I do the angles in the car, they're awful. You see this lovely, whoops, chicken neck, it's so pretty. But anyway, I hope everyone's doing well. It is now 11, I think. I'm just running out to do a couple of errands. It says 41 degrees, so I don't know what the weatherman was saying. That's normal for this time of year, isn't it? Our clocks go forward in two weeks or a week from Saturday the 9th of March, which is Pete's dad's birthday. And yes, spring and forward. So then we'll be light till about seven o'clock because about 10 to six last night was just starting to really get done. All right, you guys, let me go get my errands done. I think I'm gonna go pick up a salad for lunch. Oh, it's 11.01. All righty. Still got our nice pile of snow. <laughs> Please melt. I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye show sure what's going on around here there's like four fire engines I don't know if I can get into CVS right now so I might have to wait three or five three fire engines just left and there's still two sitting here yeah they're stopping people going in for now so I will just wait for a moment and see what's going on oh, people are going in now I guess it's okay. All right, I'm gonna go in. It just started to snow, but it's not supposed to be anything. It's just flurries. Don't think you can even see it, can you? Oh, there's a flake. There's a flake. Another flake. Last night, there was one of those huge delivery trucks full of Nissan Rogues. Oh, was there? I was like, that's not funny. So Ashley's, Ashley's awake, which I'm really surprised. This kid didn't even sleep three hours because she's overtired. All right, I'm going to go do a bit of work in the office. Enjoy your pizza. I got her a salad for whenever she wants it. I did get you, I love their little bags. So I got Ashley a couple of cake pops. I thought it was a treat later. I got a chocolate marble loaf. I just thought with a bit of butter <laughs> to add on the calories, that would be cute. Isn't it cute? Come on. walked into the car. Super girl. Hey guys, here's um, another vlogger I watch and if you haven't watched this family yet, it's another military family and her name is Sophia. Sophia Alandra Nine and uh, this is another great vlogger. Great vlogging family, like I said, another military family. Absolutely gorgeous and you know if you get a chance give her a check. Hi guys, I've just done a couple of hours the bookkeeping. Ashley's asleep on the couch. I'm about to go in there and uh, sit down and watch a bit of TV. I've got a bit of a headache. Um, but while I'm 
Oh, Doing that, I've been catching up on vlogs. Catching up on Rich and Rocky's vlogs, I've got three. I'm going to switch my bag this bag a good cleaning and it needs some polish. So I want to do that and let it sit so it dries properly and clean it out. And then I'm just going to switch over to my bigger bag for a while. Because I've been carrying more stuff and um, I have to go to work with Pete on Friday. And this way I can just shove everything in one bag instead of taking two. But I want to give this... Beautiful black bag, my mum bought me a break, and like I said, the corners are getting a bit white on the bottom from where it's been wearing, so I've used it since the end of July straight till now, so I want to get some polish on it, clean it up and stuff like that. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave you for now, I'm going to go uh, address, put some labels on my new Tasty Simple box and get them in envelopes so I can start mailing them out tomorrow, and I've got some thank yous to write, which I haven't done yet. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys. All right, well, I just cleaned my area up, dusted it a bit. There's my empty bag. I just washed it down with a face towel just to get it clean. And then, like I said, I'm going to go buy some polish tomorrow, some black polish, and just get the corners. It's just, see where the corners, well, you can't even see it. I'm neurotic about it. I love my bags, so I try and keep them in tip-top shape. But it just needs a bit of polish, and then I'll use it again, because it really does hold a lot of stuff. So this is the one I've got. It's nice and full. Isn't it amazing? Like, you look at the size of this bag, and this bag, and this bag holds as much as this. So this one I'll just be able to... Yeah, it's heavy. But, um... I don't know. I'm crazy. I like to go out with the stuff I want. And it's so funny because the other day Pete asked me for something and I'd taken out a couple of bags when we went to the city. And he's like, oh, you don't have that with you? And I'm like, nope. But he's one of the ones that's constantly getting on my case for carrying a heavy bag. And I know it's not good for my bag, so no one needs to tell me. But, you know, just when I'm out, I have this, I have that. And if I take any of the bags out, then I feel like I'm missing well, something. man has not been yet. What time is it? It's uh, 20 to 3, so I'm going to go... I'm just having a Coke. I won't finish it. I'm going to go actually put it in the fridge and make a cup of tea or coffee before Kate comes. I need to get rid of this headache, which I'm not going to get rid of in the next 20 minutes, but I just need to go take in a leave or something and um, go sit down and watch a little TV. I think Ash has Team Mum on, even though she's fast asleep. guys I hope you're doing well hope everyone had a great Tuesday I will keep wanting to say Wednesday I'm really losing my days um, just came upstairs and it's now what time is it it's quarter past eight I just put dinner in the oven to heat up it's just leftover shepherd's pie but Pete just got home and then I was going over some things with him that I'd done for the day and I thought it was seven o'clock and it's actually it was eight so I just put some laundry in so I really started late tonight um, but I feel like accomplished today. I feel like I got a lot done, but I am knackered <laughs> again. This candle smells good. I did set up, while Katie was here today, I set up a Taste Me Simple uh, page for my if you guys would subscribe just to help me get the numbers up there a little bit. I will start putting videos up. They're not going to be daily on there. I'm just going to be talking about the products and the new line coming out. Seeing as we're starting on Saturday, I figured now's a good time. But the one subscriber at the moment is me. <laughs> but i got to figure out a way that I can share the videos that Taste Free Simple actually put up. They put up some um, recipe videos and tips and tricks and stuff like that. So what I've done, I've updated my Pinterest. I've added my Twitter and my Taste Be Simple Facebook and um, yeah, it's the way I'm going to start my business. I know it's going to be a lot of work running two channels. I did run two channels before. I had my own personal channel before Ash and I started the vlogging channel where I had a lot of videos up. 
I think it's it's not inactive because it's still there, but I can't even remember my password. So anyway, we'll give this a go and see how it works. This way, my vlogging channel will just have little bits of Taste Free Simple in it, and I'll keep the majority of the Taste Free Simple on the Taste Free Simple one. So that way, people that aren't interested um, don't have to worry about it. So yes, hopefully it'll work. I will give it a go anyway. What do they say? Busy hands make... What's that saying? I found when I worked full time and I was busy and I used to work 40... I worked 40 hours a week during the winter but in the summer I used to work 60 hours a week and I had a toddler at the time. I managed to get everything else done, the cleaning of the house and everything else. So it's true what they say, a busy person manages to get everything done. I think because you have to organise yourself more. Yeah, I'm excited anyway. Just see what I can do with it. You know, maybe it's one way to generate a little business from people out there. There's not a lot of reps because I plugged in Taste Be Simple and there's not a lot of reps out there that actually have a Taste Be Simple YouTube. No peace for the wicked. The wicked. Come on in so I can shut the door. Thank you. It's so funny. They don't stay away from me for long. Um, even when Pete and Ash are here, usually the two dogs, you'll find them up here with me little monkeys. Anyway, let's think of a question for today. Holding my arm up right now is killing me, so let me put this down. Think of a question and I'll come back to you. This is just to see... I know a lot of people don't like reality TV. I do. If you could be on any reality TV show, what would it be? Uh, I can't sing, so it wouldn't be any of those. I have no talent, so it wouldn't be any of those. So I would say, because it's my utmost favourite, it's Big Brother, even though I don't, don't think I'd ever put myself through that, um, going on that big show, that show. I think my mother would be mortified, because she doesn't see the point of it, but laughs. When she came over, when I had my surgery, my surgery especially, she came over and stayed a month with me to help me out. And um, America had done their first winter Big Brother, and I was addicted. I have the live feeds and everything. So, yeah, I think if I had to choose one, it would be Big Brother. And I can't wait for it to start. And I know it doesn't start till June, but I can't wait. All right, guys. Well, I hope everyone had a wonderful Tuesday that I've said a hundred times. I hope you have a fantastic Wednesday morning until I see you all. But yeah, I'll see you all guys. I'll see you all guys. I will see you guys, I will see all you guys tomorrow night.